In this video I'll be showing you how to make a white chocolate fudge. This fudge is great as a sweet little treat but can also be made in advance and used as gifts for things such as Christmas and birthdays. If you are new around here and would like to see more cooking and baking then start right now by hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. A top tip when working with liquid glucose is to weigh the glucose directly into the pan you're going to be cooking with. Add the sugar and cream to your pan of glucose and then place onto the stove on a medium heat. For sugar work such as fudge you will need to use a traditional brass sugar thermometer and you will need to take the temperature to 118 degrees celsius or soft ball. While the mixture is coming up to temperature on the stove take a deep based pan and line with baking paper ready to pour the fudge in when ready. Stir the mixture occasionally while it's coming up to temperature. As the sugar begins to dissolve, make sure you scrape right in the corner of the pan and also as the temperature is rising, you should gradually feel that the sugar will dissolve and you should not feel any graininess at all in the mix. Eventually the mixture will come to the bowl. At this stage, do not leave unattended. Monitor the temperature constantly until softball is reached. You will know when this temperature is also reached because you will see a very slight colour change in your mixture. Another top tip here, as soon as your sugar thermometer has been taken out of your syrup, plunge it straight into a jug of boiling water to start releasing the syrup from the edges of the thermometer. Add your white chocolate and butter to the syrup mixture and stir well, ensuring fully combined and then transfer to your line tray. Make sure your fudge cools down completely. Ideally, once it is down to room temperature, you can pop it into the fridge for an hour or so just to make sure it is firmly set. Once your fudge has cooled completely, turn the tray out onto a board, trim the edges off and then dice into cubes. If you'd like to see more cooking and baking and for more food gift ideas, hit the subscribe button now and turn on the notification bell. I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy making your own fudge, either for yourself or as a nice Christmas gift idea. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. And for more cooking videos, why not check out one of the videos on screen now.